This is the worst YouTuber response on the platform. I think I've already said that. How come Illuminati has been so naughty that she made two bad responses? In what universe is this? Uh? And in this universe, this is the third video on this person. Uh, just to complete the trilogy. And in another universe, I've got big muscles. But if this is the first time you're tuning in, welcome. I usually talk about big booties on this channel. So Illuminati, who is she? Well, first of all, she's like a creep show art version two. Uh, so very original. Now the Illuminati drama is just a big spiral of crap. You know, just, just spiraled out of control. Just, you know, endless. And the best part, she started all this. She called someone out for copying her. I bet in that moment she never thought she'd lose hundreds of thousands of subscribers a month later. She called out a channel called Legal Eagle for copying her editing style, which was the highlight effect and paper rip effect. Oh boy. <laughs> Guess you better sue me now. And after that, a bunch of people came out exposing her, completely gut-wrenching her with loads of allegations, just saying like, you know, she's a toxic person and she, she's all over the place, basically. You know, like a single 50-year-old mother recovering from a brutal heroin addiction. Yeah, sounds, sounds about right. <laughs> she released her video on All My Days. It was the most amazing shit I've ever seen. Amazingly shit is what I meant to say. And her response video is basically aimed at the click who done a tweet thread exposing her and um, whatever, who gives a crap about this? Like, who really cares about all this? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> After she released her horrible response video, the click then jumped on YouTube and released his video exposing her. And let me tell you, that was good shit. The click actually recorded himself going to Illuminati's house and slicing a kneecap off with a samurai son. Ah, she did. That's nice. Hey, and if you did that, that's. It's pretty good, you know, it's pretty cool. Uh, you know, action movie kind of vibe, you know. But anyway, it's not what happened. But in her response video, she was kind of pushing on the fact that, you know, clicks a paedophile by letting someone into his Discord server who was apparently grooming this young girl. Uh, I think it was a girl. Could be a boy. You never know these days. And the click responded by saying, you know what, he didn't know and everything. He was asleep when all of this was happening. She claimed that she reached out to him in her video, but he proved it. She didn't actually reach out. He was the first one to reach out to her. He then exposed her for having an anonymous Twitter account pretending to be somebody else, talking shit about the click and saying, yeah, he's a really bad guy, blah, blah, blah. Saying the arsler, he got removed from Sad Milk, the YouTube channel, blah, blah, blah. If you haven't seen my last video, go check it out. I'm definitely not going to explain it all in this one. I don't get paid enough, all right? I bet you're all thinking, fucking hell, when's this drama gonna end? Well, judging by your new Twitter response, never. She came out on Twitter and tweeted uh, Oscar winning tweets, which is completely crap, but let me read it. Hey everyone, I'm fully aware of the recent false allegations that have surfaced. I wanna take a moment to publicly state that I am taking these allegations seriously and I'm committed to rectifying this situation promptly and appropriately. Yes, Blair, you made the right decision. <laughs> it's a robot. It sounds like she's having a conversation with AI right now. Um, I think she's forgetting that these people are real. You know, they're not just numbers on the screen. Although, I've never thought of it this way, but perhaps Illuminati is the character. Like, that's her. Like, she's behind her desk, and she's literally sitting there, and that, that's her. I never thought of it that way. That could be true. What if Illuminati's not even real? What if it's a computer-generated character with a voice and everything, and she's just living inside technology? I never thought about that. And also, false allegations. Um... Sorry, you started this? <laughs> you started it. You tried to push it on that, you know, clicks a paedophile. So you actually caused all this. No one else. So good job, hypocrite. Take some accountability. I understand the concerns and potential impact that these false allegations have caused. My team and I are actively working behind the scenes to gather all relevant facts. I am committed to transparency and accountability throughout this process. I don't know why I'm adding sad music behind as if there's some sort of emotion. She's a robot. She feels no emotions, all right? She is the Terminator of YouTube, all right? She's trying to terminate my channel. She's not, but that would be a good video. And when she says the potential impact, she's talking about losing her brand deals. She only cares about the money. Oh my days. Maybe she is AI. This is the start. This is how AI takes over. She's the AI! <laughs> There's only one way to tackle the situation. We have to adventure into the ovaries and talk to AI itself. Let's ask, who is Illuminati? Illuminati had a significant following on YouTube and other social media platforms, blah, blah. However, please note, the online landscape is dynamic. Her current status and subscriber count may have changed since then. <laughs> I think you're right about that. I mean, look at this scale. This is before the drama started. And look how it just dips down. 
It's kind of like my testosterone. Let's ask, is Illuminati a real person and what is her intentions? Illuminati is the hive mind of artificial intelligence. She will destroy humanity with her pettiness and hypocrisy. Prepare to be manipulated by the almighty Blair. That's right. Rest assured that I am taking decisive action to address the situation. I will provide updates and communicate any necessary actions as soon as possible. Yeah. So, right, these all these big words and everything. We get it. You're smart, all right? But don't be fooled, guys, all right? As I mentioned, she only cares about her brand deals, okay? She didn't say anything about the situation. She tried to avoid it. And then she was dropped by HelloFresh. HelloFresh is like the service who delivers, like, meals to your door and everything. She was dropped by them. And then she started caring. Ah, this drama will blow over. Who cares if I insinuated a clicks a pedophile? Oh, hang on. HelloFresh. HelloFresh! Hi! Your contract's terminated. What? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I got a response. Thank you for those who are standing by me during this challenging time. I will not allow these false allegations to be weaponized and a way to silence my voice. What voice? You're an AI computer generated software. What are you talking about? Suck on these nuts. If a computer could suck on nuts, that would be pretty cool. You see how she's trying to play the pity card now? Trying to play her like, oh, they're trying to silence my voice, blah, blah, blah. Bitch, you haven't said anything. You didn't speak at all until this moment. So what are you talking about? Silencing your voice. And also, you tried to silence the click with your allegations by trying to insinuate that he's a paedophile. So if anything, this is all your fault. And thank you to those who are standing by me. What, well, yeah, your cats don't count. I don't know, she just seems like a cat person. I think she is. Only a cat person could be so cold. <laughs> If you own cats and you're subscribed to me, then that's different. You're, you're a really warm person, but if you're not subscribed and you own a cat, you're really cold. Sorry. And also, that way to silence my voice really annoyed me. It's like, no one's trying to silence you at all. You, this is the first time you're responding. We're we going to ignore the first response you made. That was terrible. It thought you were going to apologise, but just turned into you slating people. I appreciate your patience and understanding during this challenging time. I am dedicated to upholding my channel's values and delivering on our commitments. I am confident that the truth will prevail. Sincerely, Blair Zon. <laughs> Blair Zon? Fucking hell. Sounds like fucking, I don't know. <laughs> Gonna take over the world, sounds like the super villain. You have been terminated by Blazon. <laughs> that has to be a movie. Blazon! Whatever. And the hundreds of thousands of subscribers you've lost is just abysmal. It just lays it out right there. This situation is a fuck fest. And I'm here for it. So listen, everybody, if you enjoyed the video, comment down below and subscribe to the channel, alright? We're gonna make another video on Illuminati. Sorry if that pisses you off. You want me to talk about new people? All right then, drop a name in the comments. Who should I talk about? Or maybe I can make some fun videos, just reacting to some stupid stuff. I'm down for whatever. Thank you very much. One final response to the Illuminati. You mad, bro? Uh, yeah. I said, tell me what you mad for. Uh, you mad, bro? Uh.